Japan mein universities are based on their research labs. That's correct. So every research lab has their own theme. Ki we work on this specific thing, that specific thing. So from that I had studied, I studied more, I had research papers and saw where was my interest. Mm-hmm. Today we have a very special guest with us. His name is Ansh Pandey, and he's a postgraduate uh, aspirant in Japan. Um, so Ansh has. recently sought admission in two of the most popular universities in Japan and today i have him with me and he will tell you more about his journey with education japan and his application process welcome ansh welcome to our channel thank you arish ma'am thank you for the kind introduction so basically about myself uh, <clears throat> i'm a 22 year old uh, pe mechanical engineering student which has opted out for specialization in robotics and the thing about me that i have been interested in robotics uh, since my childhood uh, during my summer camps and winter camps uh, i used to always opt for the robotic classes where they used to teach us how to build our ro- autonomous uh, rc vehicles or solar powered vehicles and it was very interesting for me so when my dad went to japan for the first time he used to video call us and i used to see japan through a small screen and i was pretty intrigued ki okay this is outside my country and it looks very beautiful then my dad told me about how robotics is a very good culture engineering itself is so prosperous there because they have set themselves since the very beginning like 1880s 19 old old universities then i started researching about japan ki what is japan as a kya hai japan mein ki bhai itna acha kyu lag raha hai then i started researching then i got to know how the thing works how they respect their culture how they are very punctual and uh, somewhat even i i was impressed myself by looking at their ethics their work ethics mm-hmm. and everything and see as my dad's friend they used to always keep working they were very respectful even though they are having a bad day they, are, they made sure that uh, they talk politely they don't disrespect anybody or their seniors so it was pretty interesting then i decided ki yes i need to pursue my masters in japan so, so i opted for mechanical engineering so i could clear out my course then uh, i opted then i started searching on the internet ki who are good counselors in india or japan who can help me uh, help me get admissions into the japanese university so there were none then i one day on my instagram education japan showed up i was like let me see what this is and i saw your videos ma'am yeah. and then i filled your inquiry form which was i filled my information and within like 2 3 days your team replied and they were like hey, we would like to give you an assessment and after the assessment i successfully qualified So then I got to know how difficult the process of Japan is because they are providing top notch education top notch jobs and every everything is pretty good there that's why their selection process itself is very difficult when it comes to this so when ma'am we had the conversation how the what are the processes what are the documentation so yes you helped me a lot and fortunately i have acceptance from two universities so far mm-hmm. and i'm looking forward to every one of them basically let's see yes thank you great great ansh thank you for uh, sharing your journey please uh, so as ansh mentioned his uh, topic of research is uh, related to robotics just in two three lines if you can tell more about uh, your research what you are interested in uh, pursuing research in japan yes so basically as an undergraduate student we all know that we love robotics so we love computer science engineering or cyber security but we don't really know what exactly in that field do we need to research what are our uh, what do we like in that field so first i was just interested in robotics ki bhai mujhe robotics karna hai because i love robots i love movies they can kafi sare to human humanoids and you know automatically work things so when i got in contact with ma'am i got to know ki japan mein universities are based on their research labs that's correct so every research lab has their own theme ki we work on this specific thing that specific thing so from that i had studied i studied more i had research papers and saw where was my interest mm-hmm. so there are few interested i am the few fields i'm interested in the first field will be space exploration and uh, like the mars rovers and everything that's all the curation of electronics mechanical and computer so that space second one is uh, medical robotics mm-hmm. where uh, to help the surgeon the robot uh, like to assist the surgeon basically so that was the second one third one is intelligent robotics intelligent robotics is pretty fun it's uh, combined of two things robotics and ai which is a very trending 
term nowadays mm-hmm. so these are the three things i'm pretty much interested in and uh, i am fortunately finding many research laboratories in japan who are offering exact mm-hmm. uh, masters program mm-hmm. there for according to my curations mm-hmm. so yes these are the three terms mm-hmm. i like thank you thank you and for sharing that so in japan uh, masters is more research oriented uh, i would say that is uh, same in liberal arts and business but if you are uh, studying robotics and you want to pursue uh, your research i think japan makes a great country for that uh, but uh, let me tell you the admissions process it's very unique it is not similar to any other country and uh, maybe ansh will uh, share a brief about you know uh, how the how education japan helped him in its entire process entire journey ansh do you think it was easy for you to you could have done okay. it without thing, support or how it's, how easy or difficult it's close to impossible for doing it on my own because every university every good university has their own admissions process somebody requires two lors somebody requires letter of recommendation in their format these are the uh, required documents these are the required documents for a for b it was very difficult and if i had went through it personally without any guidance i'm pretty pretty sure i wouldn't have made it even through the first college because i did explore uh, germany sweden so i it they are very simple process like six like, so universities in sweden they one of the university asked me to just fill a form submit my documents and that's that pay the application fee and that's that i thought okay that's very easy mm-hmm. but when i went ki okay let's go back to japan now where we can actually study there every university had their own uh, admissions date uh, submission date pre approval i got to realize ki before the admission there is something called as pre approval mm-hmm. that means i need to <laughs> search for universities go into their faculty section find professors find their email ids if it's publicly available and then write them an email about myself about my research proposal about my whole cv who i am and if they like me they will interview me okay. and after interviewing myself right. they will decide whether i am suitable as a prospective research student or not right. so all of this then you apply then and application then is all together right? yeah. oh. the collection of documents 10 different types right. of document 10 different types of verifications right. and uh, application fee scholarships and there are like many scholarships and so uh, that i realized for my interview education japan helped me a lot they helped me uh, uh, they helped me find my strong points ki what are my sport strong points how should i present it to the professors what could be the prospective questions they could ask me about myself what should i prepare and as well as contacting the professors as them they have their own list they like everything is just in, available at one place education japan so i contacted ma'am and ma'am interviewed me and i got selected and then i went through applying to numerous universities through their research lab to professors around 50 55 mm-hmm. approx in the start mm-hmm. and i received positive uh, replies from uh, nearly 2 3 1 Two, three, right? Yes, yeah. it was very difficult. Like I applied to fifty, fifty. I say around forty. So didn't even bother to pay uh, attention to reply to me. So that was that. Mm-hmm. Then from that, four, five of them gave me a negative. Thinking you are not compatible, or the professor is retiring. Mm-hmm. Then when the two, three professors mm-hmm. who actually uh, accepted me, they performed an interview. Mm-hmm. That interview was very difficult. Like I couldn't have predicted that India may just a jobs ka interview tha. Waisa nahi tha. You need to have like whatever the due diligence you have to do your due diligence and then you need to sit for the prep uh, for the actual interview so we went through the pre interview then what could be improved where could we add noted it down then i mastered it again then i did it one more pre interview mm-hmm. and then i sat to the interview so yeah i'm pretty sure i couldn't have done it myself mm-hmm. and education the grand map especially helped me a lot thank you thank you much thank so you. i just want to uh, tell all the audience here that you know uh, whenever you are dealing with any counselor uh, you know to give out any information which is right there on google it's easy but as a student you must make sure that uh, your counselor has information which is behind uh, google pages and also you know you must verify whatever you find online that's not the correct information it may or may not be the correct information and it's not all it's very Im- it's nearly possible to put all the information on websites and 
uh, it's nearly impossible and especially you know japan uh, coming uh, from a place that it is a unique destination um, you please rely uh, you know you, whoever you rely on just make sure that they are specialists uh and they are just not giving out information which is easily available on public spaces uh so for example as anch mentioned the process involves uh you know writing a research paper for post graduate and uh, education japan uh, really helps you frame that uh, research paper well and then there are interviews so we go through your research paper well in advance and we help you uh, a better rate writing better we give uh, feedback we have some professors uh, who actually help us with that and we also conduct mock interviews with our students and uh, prepare them for final interviews with their universities so it's a personalized guidance uh, it's uh, you know we don't believe in one uh, solution for all that really doesn't work for japan uh i'm really uh, happy that anch made it to two known universities in japan uh, right now he has an acceptance from ritsumikan university and soka university yes. he's still applying to few others and he's in the process and he has done very well in our application process you. and anch you also have a job offer already yes, right <laughs> why don't you tell the audience about that also? so just for experience to just to yeah. know my value in india so mm-hmm. I like college okay, placements I had, and then there's a company called as Thermax, Thermax Limited. It's a big boiler company which provides boilers to uh, big thermal power plants and different companies. So I sat for it, and then uh, I got selected into it. But uh, then I got to know my worth. I won't mention the package, but it's, it was not up to my standards. As a mechanical engineering student, like I do have good scores, I do have some extracurricular activities. I am very much involved in everything. Mm-hmm. Still, based on that, I did not get. Like as I was expecting, that I could not get that salary. But so, and your package was pretty good if you compare it to Indian. Uh, yeah, I mean relatively standard. it's okay. But yeah. when I research about Japan and yeah. after completing my masters, after dedicating two years of my life to my masters, I could just triple the amount. Definitely. definitely. And plus their work culture is better. They are workaholics. They love time management. So all of this just aligned perfectly with Japan. So yes, so I did get placed into that company, but I don't think so. I'll be continuing into it because it makes no sense because I do have a growth uh, spectrum in Japan doing my masters, so I'll be pursuing that. Okay, great, great. Ansh. So Ansh has chosen not to join that company where he received. According to me, it's twice the package what usual engineering students receive. Yes. It's actually twice that uh, package, but uh, you know, I really admire the fact that he wants to. Uh, Pursue his research first because you know this is an investment. These two years are going yes. to be an investment, right? So, Ansh, any message that you want to give to students who want to go to Japan, not just for postgraduate but also for undergraduate studies? So yes, if I had known about Japan or the counseling service in Japan, I would have definitely opted for undergraduate studies because, as an engineer myself. I do know there is a lot of difference between the Indian standards for education. What do we call it, and what Japanese people call their standards of education? There is like zameen asman ka farak. So my message to you guys will be: if you have good scores, if you if you have decent scores, like passable scores, I would definitely, definitely recommend you guys to pursue your further education in Japan, because Japan itself is promoting student and uh, different life yes. culture. The Indian government is promoting it. The Japanese government are happy to accept us. We just need to. Do some efforts. We just need to hire counselors like them, and I don't. Uh, basically, there are no other counselors in India. If you Google it, and uh, <laughs> yeah. I did fall into some of the traps. Because I did it's apply. nearly impossible. It's a nearly impossible yes. task. <laughs> because I was just I just Google counselors for education in Japan. Yeah. So education Japan popped third in the list. There were two, but they were for US Germany because Google itself was promoting that. Boy, you Japan? Who goes? You US? Jao. <laughs> तुम जो मन तुम भीड़ में जाओ सो ये वन थिंग माई डैड टोलिंग की वाई डू हैव टू गो टू द हर्ड लाइक भीड़ में क्यों जाना है बिकॉज इवन यू एस अभी काफी स्ट्रॉन्ग हो गया लाइक देर इज नो जॉब सेफ्टी देर इवन इफ यू कम्प्लीट योर मास्टर्स देर देर इज रेयरली सम चांस सम ऑफ अस हु आर एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी कैन गेट जॉब्स देर बट मोस्ट ऑफ अस लाइक मी लाइक द ऑर्डिनरी वन आई डोंट थिंक सो आई कुड गैट गॉट इन प्लेस इन टू आई यू एस कंपनी आफ्टर डूइंग मास्टर्स इन यू एस एंड पेइंग हैफ्टी हैफ्टी अमाउंट एज एडमिशन फीस स्कॉलरशिप्स एंड एवरीथिंग so my message to you guys is this as simple as that 
start your Japanese prepar preparation as soon as possible. Please, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you. Very much.